Hello there! Welcome and welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle. Happy to have you as always. Thank you so much for all you do's around here. Uh, if you're returning, if you're returning, thank you for all you do around here. All right. Um, if you are new, welcome. Happy to have you. Um, so, all right. So this is gonna be an eclipse reading. I kind of want to see like what the collective has. What's in the mix um, as we approach this Monday eclipse. Ooh, okay. What's in the mix as we approach the, sun, the Monday eclipse? <laughs> There's a little, a little bit of a rhyme there, right? I love that. Um, I always thought what I'm doing if I <laughs> spot a rhyme scheme. Uh, so yeah, I kind of want to see what the collective needs to know about this energy surrounding eclipse. I really have no inkling on doing ooh. um yeah i have no inkling on actually doing a reading on monday because it is eclipse energy and sometimes you kind of just want the eclipse energy to do the eclipse thing um but yeah i think i think someone's already trying to schedule like a personal on monday mind y'all <laughs> i am opening up for personals this coming week, all right? So I think I want to do it slow and steady and kind of go with the flow like I do it. Um, I'm going to kind of use this time right now to kind of figure out how I want to do it, <laughs> all right? And then I'll let y'all know, and I'll put it in the description, and I'll continue to speak about it in the videos as well. Um, but yeah, just give me some time so I'll figure out um, how I want to do it. But yep, yeah, y'all definitely have been stalking me in a good loving way, in a good loving way, <laughs> trying to see when I was going to do it personally. I want a one-on-one -on -one session or something, something else outside of these videos, and I would be happy to oblige. I, it's a pleasure. I, It's an honor. <laughs> I'm humble. So let's get into it, all right? So let's go ahead, do this prayer. Y'all know I like to get to it. <sighs> Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of the highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will or evil eye energy, kindly block that energy, return it back to its owner, bind them in their own energies. They can never harm anyone again in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. <laughs> How y'all doing? You take care of yourselves? All right. Is this the deck? That's not the deck. All right. All right, so I'm curious to see. First card out. What does the collector need to know? What does the collector need to hear? Um, let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the energy that the Holy Spirit needs to be in? Hmm. Holy Spirit, what energy? Show me the energy on my collective. Uh, show me the energy about <laughs> I can't even get this together what do I want what do I want um, hmm. show me the energy around Eclipse for my collective what does my collective need to know what does my collective need to hear show me the energy around Eclipse day for my collective what do they need to know what do they need to hear it's like some type of communication <laughs> Communication is key. It says new moon in Gemini. So Gemini energy is also the energy of fluidity. It's um, being interchangeable. It's allowing yourself to... It's allowing yourself to be, I guess, interchangeable to, in a sense where you're not only taking in your own perspective, but you're also placing yourself in this per perspective of someone else. That's that beauty about Gemini energy is that it has the ability as the twins to switch it up, to change their minds, to see different perspectives. Um, and so you may be asked very much during this eclipse season to not just communicate your part clearly, but to be open to hearing as well as yeah, to be open to listening as clearly as you need to speak, 
Okay, so as, as clearly as you need to speak during this time, be sure that you're listening just as um, intently. Um, because well, communication is going to be key and it needs to be this feeling that both sides are being understood accurately whether this is like a business or um, a career situation a money situation a collaboration of any kind um, maybe this there's been some type of mystery or darkness surrounding whatever it is to be communicated but it's something about allowing yourself to just kind of be fluid um perhaps even to understanding what the bigger picture is at the time, right? So sometimes we're not certain of what a bigger picture is even gonna look like for us until we're able to truly zoom out. You know, sometimes like it can be quite tricky when we're like in the midst or, you know, in the action of to consider what all may be at play in the mix around. So Spirit is asking that to definitely consider the bigger pictures. Oh, it's something about the expanse of scope here I'm already getting because I'm already saying that like, yes, your opinion is super strong and super necessary and to be clear on that, but there's also this energy of like consideration for your consideration, C considering the other, considering the, con the other side. I feel like there could be something Rather, it's something you're awaiting for. That's the, I just left. So I need that. I did not need that. Um, so one card is Gemini. Okay, so we got new moon in Gemini, full moon in Sagittarius. Gemini and Sagittarius are opposite signs. <sighs> yeah, it's like Spirit is saying be open and receptive. Be open to be considerate to, to somebody's somebody may be wanting for you to consider something, because <laughs> I did say for your consideration. Somebody may be looking or hoping that you will consider the bigger picture when it comes to the communication that they have to that they're looking to have with you. Um, what do you want to release? There's something here. Um, there's something here they have to say that they need to release. Tell me more about what it is this um, that needs to be released here. What does the collector need to know? What does the collector need to hear? Um, Spirit is also asking you during this point in time, what is it that you need to release? Is there anything that's festering? Is there anything that has aged itself out that cannot live or exist or be in this new era that we're either existing in or uh, fastly approaching? Um, personal issue reaches resolution. And this is full moon and cancer. Time to breathe out. This has come out quite a bit recently. This is a disseminating, disseminating moon. Um, there's a lot of blue that came out just right instantly here. Emotions are running high at this point in time. Super moon. So something's going to be exacerbated something's going to be expanded upon something's going to have a there's going to be like a clearer scope here when it comes to something that seems so far away it's like you're going to really be able to see the details maybe the details are missing in a situation stars stars pull my attention Somebody may be saying, look at the stars tonight. Somebody may be looking, somebody may want you to look at the stars tonight. Um, their emotions are running high for you. These emotions are going to be exacerbated during the super moon for sure. Um, wait, during the, what did, what did I say? Did I say full moon? During the eclipse. Um, 
Look at all this blue. There's something special coming for you. And I keep doing what I do with this rhyming bit. Like, what is up with this rhyming bit? What about Wonka? <laughs> Look at all this blue. I'm blue. I'm even wearing blue. <laughs> I'm blue, I believe I'm a map. I'm a bubbly, blah, 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 blah. I'm blue. Um, makes me want to song. So, yeah, there's a lot of blue here. <laughs> so, you know, for some people, not in this reading right now, some people outside of yourself may, you know, be looking to chill out, you know, maybe not talking to nobody during the eclipse day but for some reason <laughs> it seems as though you gonna be the ones that are gonna be chit chatting and talking or communicating something quite substantial with all this blue it's screaming to be throat chakra <laughs> or someone's having a major throat chakra activation this day <laughs> because they're blue it's just all a lot of blue it's a whole lot of blue in dead center Look at the big picture. This is someone that could literally be your opposite with that Sagittarius to Gemini energy, but it's like, it just, it's just like peanut butter and jelly. It fits. It just fits, right? It just fits. Someone does wonder if you've lost your vision when it comes to the connection, when it comes to what you see, when it comes to what you always could see when it comes to this person or when it comes to the connection, rather or not, you still see it for them. Fixed moon. Someone here could definitely um, have be a fixed energy. What is fixed? That's a... Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Leo. That's it. Yeah. Have you held? Are you holding your vision about what you see for us? The answers you need are coming. I'm coming. Full moon in Gemini once again. So it's a lot of Gemini energy on the board. And that's not yet another card confirming communication. And yet another card that's blue. And yet another card that is of Gemini energy. I'm coming. I have something to say. I feel like this person has a lot to say. Um, a win-win outcome is in the forecast. Full moon in Libra. Oh, so what, we got the scales then. All right. So somebody here needed to be balanced out here before this outcome, before the outcome could truly surface or can surface. Okay, but know that prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. I'm thinking Gemini season could be significant, which is summer, spring, summer, um, as well as Taurus season, which is spring. This is green, heart chakra energy. This prosperity is connected to the heart with the green here. Someone's gonna like, like a... Mm. I feel like this person is, they could be of earth. It's something that's very steady about them. I think you're gonna see just how ferocious they are. It's like they don't tap into their energy very often because they're like, it seems like this person's like, like tourist energy is like, they're cool and chill. Like, don't, 
if you want to f with them, if you want to keep poking them, then they'll they'll get you know they'll get wild. All of a sudden, they'll be like a bull in the china shop kind of vibe. But if they cool, they cool. And so it's like maybe this person really came off like cool in a cool combo, generally speaking, or whenever you kind of noticed them before. But there's something about their energy now that just feels a bit more ferocious to me because it feels like they're battling through their heart. They're battling through like the love. This is, oh wow, surrender to divine full moon. This is being guided. This person's being guided to you because they know that you're going to bring love to the situation and that you're going to... Whoa. They know that... <laughs> they know that's what you do. But I think in the past, I think you may have relinquished that water because this is the water bearer pouring onto a situation. So this per this person may have been used to that in the past. I feel like perhaps the water been cut off. And now they're trying to figure out how to get you back. They're trying to figure out how to water a situation, they're trying to figure out how to like um, alchemize it, change it up, switch the vibe. There's something here. It's a mutual. This could be a mutual dream. The thing is, Spirit is saying, if this is a mutual dream of yours, no meets a lot of. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. There's no point in telling me no stories. There's no point in telling the next person no stories. There's no point in telling them no stories. Actions speak louder than words you know so it's like if y'all both have this dream if y'all both share this dream to reunite or to be together or to reconnect or to um yeah just reconnect or whatnot um then put face in that don't you know try not to be laissez-faire or hot and cold when it comes to that energy because it's really gonna the universe is gonna be like well, what are you trying to ooh, excuse me what are you trying to manifest here? Like, what's going on? Um, oh, goodness. It just felt like something just flew in there and I had to get it out. Um, yeah. So, yeah, have faith in your dreams and have faith in what you see happening. There's this vibe of, like, you really, during this point in time, have to listen to your own intuition. Don't listen to anybody else when it comes to... No, no, not to say don't listen to anybody else. Um, but you have to be, like, the judge. Like, when it comes to, like, say me and this influencer, and I'm talking to you and delivering information to you, like, think of me as, like, a lawyer or whatnot, right? Think of all the things that you consume as, like, being, like, lawyers or we are in a courtroom or whatnot, and you're the judge. So it's, like, whatever information that you're receiving and whatever it is that you're disseminating, you're in control of, like, the quality of it, whether or not it vibrates with you, whether or not you should continue listening, whether or not it connects or doesn't connect, like no one else is going to be responsible for that over yourself, <laughs> even myself. I'm never like, if my message ain't serving you, <laughs> please go find the one that does. And that's, that's what your responsibility would be as the person that is the judge, right? At the courtroom, you get to disseminate what, you know, is your vibe and what isn't your vibe. So I feel like this person has given it to the divine. Well, they're trying their best because the thing is, is that something is still coming very closely near. It's something that they can feel, something you can feel, likely. And so let's see the energy of this person right now. This is your match. So connects to the rainbows. We got Bell and Beast. So that further confirms this idea of like opposites. Uh, this is a ancient. This could be your soulmate. Ancient knowledge, royal lineage. Pay attention because messages are coming. We got messages coming there at the bottom of that card. Show me the energy of my collective person as it stands right now. Show me the energy of my collective person. Yeah. 
it's hidden or if you're a high priestess they could they're out of there their thoughts are you <laughs> um it's a secret but something is a secret here show me the energy of the person in my collective's mind show me the energy of the person in my collective's mind uh, pathological liar they're feeling like someone they're dealing with a liar they feel like something is divine femme think positive when will my reflection show inside who I am awakening um, personal power. This person is getting their personal power because they've had an awakening. And now they're looking, they've had a chance to um, <laughs> check in with that man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Um, yeah. Also, when will my reflection show inside? Mulan can be significant. When will my reflection show who I am inside? This person was battling with who they were. Or is battling with what they are. This person is saying, sorry, I didn't have the words then, but I love you. Spell work is at hand, but you're protected because you're chosen. This person uh, getting somewhere it says, you can barely see this but you could probably see the 50% healed. The card says getting somewhere, almost there, effort. This person putting in a lot of effort because uh, their eyes are on the prize. This spiritual test says past 100%. So their eyes are on the prize and they're not going, this is divine masculine that we're talking about. Their eyes are on the prize. So we got both here that's showing up, divine masculine and divine ma uh, feminine. <laughs> Forgive me for misspelling divine. That was when I, you know, <laughs> I made these cards when I first, first started, when I was a baby, 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 um, aka last year. <laughs> so um, I, I think I was thinking like Adam Divine. I don't know what I, why I spelled it like that. But anywho, something could be significant about six months from now. Or for some of y'all, I, mean, I haven't spoken for six months. But yeah, this person is going through an extreme transformation and change up in their life. Hello, beginnings. Oh, it says it's a wrap. Endings. Hello, beginnings. Hello, beginnings. I love that I wrote that there. They want you to know that something never meant anything. This could have been someone that um, you run across this person's mind 24-7, by the way. Uh, but this is someone that, I don't know if they just see you somewhere, but they like seeing you. This could have been a shocker to spot you somewhere. There's like a lightning strike here. But it says keep going and do it. This person could be like your biggest cheerleader. Wherever they see you, I don't know. They think that you're, they're, <laughs> I don't know. They think you're spicy. They think you're hot. Um, they've had a revelation about you with that lightning striking. Do it. Do it. Keep going. Do it. Something about that. There's something about that. Do it. They're being urged to do something. Ah, it says action. Awareness. Coming in. Beware. Something's coming in. A wealthy man, perhaps. Hmm. Because you're this person's superstar. <laughs> and you're the Empress. Hmm. You're their Empress. What is this person going to say to my collective? That what they had was poison. What they chose was poison. They could want to meet with you in a public place, but I. I also feel like their emotions, uh, their emotions are running high. 
I feel like they're a little confused from a, uh, because of the emotions, also because of there's a lot of chemistry between y'all. I think naturally, I also feel like a lot of sexual tension. Um, so even with that public place card, it's like yeah, they want to see you in a public pl they, place. They want to set up a public place arrangement because they want you to be cozy and comfortable with them as they present, and y'all, you know, get through the things y'all have to get through. But I also feel like I'd be amiss to not admit that I'm pretty certain there's some fantasies in the mix about, okay, while we in a public place, you know, I don't know, maybe one or the other, both of y'all may get, you know, horned up or like caught up in the emotions and get horned up later. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anywho, um, this person now has, ooh, wow. Yeah, so whatever this person had chose, or whatever this person was, wherever this person, wherever this person was, they're fed up. They've had enough. Not because they they're now considering or factoring in the betterment of their life or legacy that they're leaving behind. They want you to keep going. They're saying that they're keeping going. Um, and that the small steps work. It says focus on the hustle right now, not the outcome. So be so they're being they're trying to they're working on being non attachment. It looks like they're gathering their resources. They're um, focusing on work and and building up their finances and and perhaps getting things I don't know situated and rearranged uh, during this period of, of extreme transition. I feel like this person wants to make sure they stay. Um, Stay on top of things, stay ahead of things. Um, so it's like they're coming across as not attached, but the thing is, they love you so much. It's like they're doing this, they're doing this for themselves and they're doing this for the for the betterment of their legacy. But you make them want to do it. You make them excited to do it. You make them want to. Like, bring it home, dude. I feel like, bring it home to me. Like, I don't know, the song. There's a song like that, bring it home to me. I don't know what that. Um, but, yeah, they want to be able to, like, <laughs> they want to make you happy. I feel like they want to come with good news. They want to be like, hey, this is what I've been up to. This is what I've been doing. Not to show off, but to, to share. <laughs> it's really cute. It's like a cute feeling that I'm feeling right now. Something significant could be about November. Or something could be happening in November that's significant. What else does my collector need to know? What else my collector needs to hear? Let's do some freaky ones real quick. Because I do get a little bit of freakiness happening here. So just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ma, ma, ma. How do you like it? How do you like it? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. All right. What does my collective need to know about their person? What does a person want to say to my collective right now? Oops. They got visions of you taking control. And this is probably somebody that really likes control. But they want you sometimes, from time to time, to take control. I think that really gets them giddy and excited and throbbing in all the places that you can imagine. Oh, yeah, you get them weak. <laughs> I can't explain why your love this makes me weak. I <laughs> spilled some, like, water on this card. And so the letter, the, the coloring is a little, is a little interesting, but it kind of fits for this card somehow, some way. It's, it's just, ooh, they got images. Speaking of vision, they got, they got fantasies of slowly addressing you, by the way. They feel like you got healing sex. If y'all have had sex already or before, then you may put this person. You may think this person is like has the best, uh, um, the best equipment of all time, child. <laughs> and the thing is that equipment is equipment. It's about how you work the equipment, right? It's not <laughs> that doesn't mean like the biggest, longest, big job, dang, lang, hang, 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 hang. Like who? Wait. Everybody's got their own thing, okay? Um, and, and we, 
<laughs> also, it all matters. It's something about the way they do it, right? It's something about the way y'all both do what y'all do that I think is just so electric <laughs> for both of y'all. Um, and it feels very personalized. Or y'all going to find ways to personalize it. Say if y'all have never had relations before, then it's st- this still all is kind of locked in a, a fantasy. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? And it's, it could be locked in a fantasy, but it still makes them weak. It still makes them weak, and it makes them it makes them do things with themselves. They could be definitely manifesting you in that way by um, gratifying themselves through thoughts of you, perhaps even through images of you, perhaps even through uh, if there's videos on there of you, then perhaps through that. And something here is like they want to take something soft and gentle with you. They want to be soft and gentle with you. For some, for some of y'all, they want y'all against the wall. All right. And once again, this is slowly, slowly undressing you. That's popped up again. There's a lot of slow, soft, gentle. And this may be a person where it's like, y'all definitely going to have moments where y'all hard. Let's, let's very to the turn. Rolling. Rolling on a river. All right, so we're going to start this song off a little slow and a little soft. Then we're going to get rough. You know, it's like sometimes I feel like y'all y'all going to be known to get a little rough too. But it, it, it feels like on this day, <laughs> as I say this, that they definitely have a lot of images of like slow caresses and being gentle with you, being loving and nourishing. And that could very well be due to this insane uh, missing you. They miss you. But this person, they want you to know that they've transformed. But they see that you've transformed. And they think you're so beautiful. They could think that you're like a model beautiful. Look at her. Like you belong in a hair commercial, child. They'd be like, man, did you just come out of the shower? Did you just wash your hair? You like You just jumped out of like a L'Oreal commercial. Like, the fairy tells you to surrender to transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Yeah, this person is transforming for their, they're transforming. <clears throat> and they're keeping themselves isolated. They're keeping themselves to themselves, all right? And they're finally, <laughs> they're finally allowing their their spiritual team to communicate to them. They're communicating back to them. Um, I, I feel like this is kind of taking some time for them to. I feel like this is, is a very logical person, so it's taking them a little bit of time to feel, I guess, comfortable or feeling like they have that commute that open line. Um, and they got it. I also feel like you're an open line to them and that you regularly give them information or give them codes, give them prayer. It's like, or if you pray for them, do your prayers, you gift them with so much treats and treasures that helps them along their journeys, healing energy, inspiration. Like it looks so magical. You can literally see him passing down like this purple, beautiful things where from uh, the, from where he is to where she is, he's just dropping it down to her, and she's able to utilize that in real time. I feel like whatever it is that you send to your person energetically, they're able. It's something that they can literally utilize for themselves in, in their world in real time. Um, I feel like something significantly happened with them in winter time. They could have tore themselves away from something because they needed to find they, there's <laughs> their soul started to really scratch an ache for them to 
move towards something they felt was lost that they can that they need to find. Something that they wish for that they feel like is now lost that they need to find. And so divination. This is the kind of counterpart where you can't find them the usual methods. They could be looking to, <laughs> looking to going to practitioners, um, to going to readers to kind of get not I'm not getting any kind of craziness here, but I'm getting just to like <sighs> mm, because they don't they feel like they probably don't have a certain level of access to you anymore. The gateway. There's something about this gateway and because magical gateway is cards in the reverse. So there's something here about um perhaps they have a, a more limited access. I don't know if your spiritual team is just like heave ho. Get your ish together. Come on back. You let us know. It almost reminds me like it almost reminds me about um, the original color purple, not the new one. <laughs> that one was I, right, but the original color purple with so during Sophia's wedding, and um, her aunties were surrounding her, and her aunties are fierce you know, women that would never played about Sophia. Whenever she kind of hit a wall, had things going on, Sophia would always, you know, go to her aunties and they'd take care of her uh, or look after her and her, you know, her in her situations. Um, so, yeah, I just get this image of just like um, the aunts doting on Sophia during her wedding day and just like, ah, 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 it's your wedding day, it's your wedding day. And then old Mr. played by Danny Glover, which everybody knew was like, uh, effed up person. He was an abuser. You know, he was a jerk. Um, he like came up to congratulate Sophia, and before he could get to Sophia, the auntie stopped, or stopped, and stepped in front of her and was like, "Can I help you?" They didn't even say nothing. They just let their eyes say, "Can I help you? Why are you over here?" <laughs> like, what, what? He didn't. Nothing else needed to be said. He turned right back around and went back to what he was doing. And something about that being your energy, like you are Sophia and your spiritual team, when it comes to who's trying to have access to you during this point in time, it don't matter who they may be to you or who they're going to be to you. It's like, they're like, oh, wait, who who are you? State your business. You know, what do you want with collective? You know, your spiritual team don't play about you. But did you know that someone, someone, they, they don't. <sighs> Somebody wants to get together. Someone who is healed wants to get together with you. They want to come together. They want to expand upon or flourish something that never got a chance to flourish in the past. They want to have the experience. <laughs> they want to have the collective experience with collective in their experience. Okay. So there's something here about, you know, flourish, something that never had a chance in the past or previously to flourish. This is you can see this in a, a multitude of different ways. It could be a, a career flourish. It could be a love flourish. It was like the things that you felt was like impossible or wasn't going to be. I don't know if I'll ever be in a relationship kind of person or if I'll ever be a relationship kind of person. This is where that eclipse energy comes through and switches things up or replaces things or all of a sudden, you're feeling things, or all of a sudden, you're not feeling things, right? That's that eclipse energy. It's like someone, it's like whatever was in the past, it, it, like that switches up. It transforms or becomes the opposite. Yeah. Because this person, to this person, you just, you just sparkle and shine from within, and you're very healing. You're very healing to them and that once again is blue there's a lot of talking here um but i do feel like this person's not quite there yet with the finding balance in the uh upside down but <laughs> wisdom is upright so they know they have very discerned they're very discerned and that seems like that's something they earned all right, so show me the energy. We'll do tarot quick. What's this energy of the collective person 
Show me the energy of the collective person. They could be having financial difficulties right financial difficulties right now. Um, they're feeling, they could be feeling like they're trapped in a hustle or trapped in hustle mentality because they're having a new beginning. Mm, page of swords in the reverse. The devil card at the bottom. So definitely in the in the <laughs> In the past, this person was very, they had to get their comeuppance. They could, I feel like spirit needs to turn something off for them. They had needs to turn something off. They, I feel like they turned off your presence. <laughs> How way they could connect with you, not just physically, but energetically got cut off. Maybe even their money got cut off. Maybe certain connections or people that they sought out or maybe the people that they chose just kind of disappeared. Nobody loves you when you're down and out. That old classic blues song. Um, this person had to realize nobody loves you when you're down and out. And these could have been the very people that they rocked with, that they chose over, that they, that they, you know, what do they, what do they, what do they call that? Um, when they were looking to do hood rat shit with their friends, devil car. That's who they would go to, to do that hood rat shit. And it looks like you know. When it all came down and out, they weren't there. They weren't there. And so they feel like, you know, those people were all talk. Or maybe this person was all talk when it came to being surrounded with these people. Um, but this person could be in, in a little bit of a um, self-defensive mode right now. Nine of Swords in the reverse, but they are coming out of being in their head. Being they're coming out of um, they weren't sleeping well. They could have had migraines. They're coming out of that energy of sleepless nights, okay? Because they're getting balanced, but it still feels like it's it's work. That's too many. I'm gonna take some of those back. That's too many. Um, how does my collective feel about this person, Holy Spirit? Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> how do y'all feel? Apathetic. All right. Sure. <laughs> okay. Let's see if they come. Whatever. Like, if they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. That's just, <laughs> that's where my collective is right now. Because y'all just focused on the cycles. Y'all focus on your new cycle. Also, I feel like y'all are letting universal timing just, you know, whatever the cat drags in, the cat drags in. It's cool with me. We'll see once it comes. But until it comes, it's going to come. <laughs> it's going to come, though. Because they've used the Queen of Cups. they use used, like, the ultimate love. How do you just, like... Avoid the ultimate love. I mean, people do do that. People do do that. But if you're already tired of the staleness, of the fakeness, of the of the of the ones that couldn't love you when you were down and out, <laughs> then you start to really understand and appreciate the people that just. It was just so easy for them to love you unconditionally. You just easily love this person unconditionally. And what did they do with that? They played around with it. You know? And now this person can't fight this feeling anymore. And I can't fight this feeling anymore. I forgot what I had. What I had forgot what I even started fighting for. That's what that song goes. I can't stop this feeling anymore. I have forgot what I was fighting for. Let's, I'm actually going to pull up real quick a lyrics. I just, I feel like that could be substantial. Can't fight this feeling. 
anymore because I feel like there could be a dozen and one songs with that name or a similar name, but I got it. Okay. Um, oh, yes. And I can't fight this feeling anymore. And yet I'm still afraid to let it flow. Wait, hold on. Come on, give me the lyrics. What's this? It just give, I hate when they just give you like a preview of the lyrics. Don't just give you a preview. Release it. Yes, I can't fight this feeling anymore, and yet I'm afraid to let it flow. What started out as a friendship has grown stronger. I only wish I had the strength to let it show. Oh my gosh. I tell myself that I can't hold out forever. I said there is no reason for my fear because I feel so secure when we're together. You give my life direction. You make everything so clear. And even as I wonder, I'm keeping you in sight. You are a candle in the window on a cold, dark winter's night. And I'm getting closer than I ever thought I might. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Woo! Okay. I believe you. Spirit wants you to think positive. Oh, wow. Hold on. Spirit wants you to think positive. Just generally speaking, okay? Uh, Spirit wants you to consider how can you bring joy to yourself on a daily basis? I do feel like, uh, yeah, I'll just say that. <laughs> I like how you can kind of start to say things and Spirit says, no, you don't need to say that. <laughs> it just goes, it just disappears. And I go like, what was I going to say? Oh, it's gone? Shining your light, shining the light. Have a good day. Laugh often. You make this person laugh. You make this person so giddy. Oh my gosh. You're like the sunlight to them. You brought the sunshine into my life. You brought the lifeline. That's a gospel song. I was talking about God. But I also can kind of consider that that song to be like this person singing that for you. Like you brought the sunshine into this person's life. You brought a lifeline to them. It felt like a lifeline. It felt like a lifeline. Obsessing more than I admit. I feel like they're obsessing over um, this conversation, how to bring up this up to you, that they, in fact, actually, <laughs> they feel so strongly for you. <laughs> they, likely, they likely hid this. The <laughs> They likely hid the severity of it all, darlings. <laughs> Because it's so severe that they want to be your lover for life, you know? They want to, would you sentence me to be your lover for life? Your lover for life. Whitney Houston, would you sentence me to be your lover for life? They are running from a thought bot. This is someone who could have been considered a great pretender back then, but, you know, they transformed because they're tired of all the cooks in the kitchen. They say, y'all gotta go. Y'all can't be taking up <laughs> ruining my life, causing havoc when the love of my life, <laughs> my past life love, is there's no room for them or I would never want to bring them around this chaos. So either y'all got to go or y'all got to change or I got to change. People are talking about this girl I heard. People are talking about this personal transformation. People want to say it's not real, or you may want to think it's not real. Well, people are talking about it, and the birds are clucking. It says, yeah, girl I heard. It says, birds of a feather, gossip, chit, chat. So nothing's happening? Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
I'm not. It's not happening today. Not on my watch. You're not going to get my tears in this video. But, okay, so yes. This past life love that got mind. You know, this side is the past life love they have in mind. That they love so deeply. Queen of Cups. Ain't nobody like this love. Been around the world and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't find my baby. Ain't nothing like this love. And they just got to have it. They got to have it. So what they going to do? So what they going to do, Spirit? They're healing still. So they're still working on that. But let's see. After Once they heal, what are they going to do, Holy Spirit? Show the collective what they're going to do once they heal. Whew. And then we're going to wrap it up here. Because here we go. Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself with these 50-minute videos. I don't do it on purpose, I promise. Once they heal, we have a natal chart here. Once they heal, they're going to do exactly what they're destined to do. It's in their chart to do it. But what they're going through right now is also in their chart to do it. <laughs> so they're going to follow their chart. You're in their chart. You're in their way. You're in their, in their, you're in their way. You're in their path. They're going to come. And they're going to come in this new, fresh energy of discovery. Or if this is someone that you're new, brand new meeting, brand spanking new meeting, <laughs> then A, they're going to feel like you've known them forever. It's going to feel very, because they're past life. So it's going to be very instant. So just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Um... Because they're gonna be really, it's gonna they're gonna feel really familiar really quickly, and it's gonna be real intense. And y'all both y'all may fear each other for a period of time, but just allow it to do its thing. Uh, if this is someone that y'all already had the separation already, <laughs> there is something about the coming back together um, and making things right, justice. Um, this person wants to come back and make things right, set it straight, and then they want to go back to following their path, and you are this person's path. Um, and they can't... <laughs> it's like they, they can't even remember what they were fighting for. They can't even remember why they were running away. Three of Wands. They can't remember why they were fighting, why they decided that they, they can't even remember what they were fighting for. Why they are fighting against you? Why were they ignoring the signs? Why were they trying not to see it? Because they were either broken hearted. They were afraid of broken heart. They were afraid of, they were they were <laughs> they felt like they were going to predict a broken heart with you being with you to to allow themselves to be taken <laughs> under your ways <laughs> they felt as though that would result in a broken heart when in fact not taking that route for this person that in fact broke their heart and that's what they discovered that they ended up breaking their own heart anyways by the non-action <clears throat> by non-action but well, this person is resting um and and now we got a match this person is resting, and and now they're gonna and they're gonna show up. They're gonna show up and look nice. They're gonna show up smelling good, like the King of Cups, <laughs> and they're gonna be speaking very gently and softly. And um, they, you know, they may have a little trouble being super descriptive about their emotions, but know they feel them very deeply, um, and not even know. Not even, I don't even mean to say no, they feel them very deeply. Like, don't take my word for it. Look into their eyes. <laughs> Look into their eyes. Something about that King of Cups energy is like, they may not be as good with their words or as descriptive about their emotions, but it's, it's, um, they feel them maturely. It's something here where it's like, they're, they don't, these emotions don't freak them out anymore. I think they just understand that they're they're there. It's 
permanent. They're not going nowhere. They haven't gone nowhere. They haven't gone nowhere. So they know that these feelings aren't going to go anywhere. And so I think it's like they feel seasoned to me. Like they've grown into the feeling as opposed to like running from the feeling now. Right. So it's like if this is a new situation, if it's brand new, then this person could still very well be in the energy of I got to run from this. I don't know what this is. Um, but if it's something that is reappearing and y'all already had your time of running away from each other or, or separating, um, then this person's tired of that. So it's either one or the other. <laughs> this person, if it's already happened, this person's tired of that and they realize they broke their own heart by doing it their way. <laughs> And so they're trying to look for the other way in, another way, okay? Um, what does this person want to say to, to their collective? What does this person want to say? They're hoping that you'll forgive them or that there can be, that you guys can share forgiveness between each other. This card says, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. 29 could be significant. This says, focus on love. And this is kind of like a representation of the strength card with the feminine energy in the beast. This has showed up already. The feminine energy in the beast. This is a dragon. Taming the beast. And then we got Beauty and the Beast. You tame this person's, they feel like you tame their beastly side. I feel like this connection is going to open the door to miracles and blessings because you guys represent each other's miracles and blessings incarnate. Walking and breathing and talking and singing. <laughs> Y'all represent this for each other. Um, 13 could be significant. But um, yeah, you're going to guys can be locking a lot of miracles and blessings upon. Um, <laughs> upon convergence of your energies together, like once whenever that actually occurs. Um, I feel like it's going to open the door to a lot of abundance and um, abundance energies. All right. All right. That's all I got. That's it. That's it. I should shut up. Just tell me to shut up. Just tell me to take me out of here. No, I love you. <laughs> no, let me be. Let me be free. Let me be the free butterfly that I am. Yeah. Take care of yourselves. All right. Peace and love. Until next time. Peace out.